What's going on guys, Murdo LTR here, back at it again with another video. And uh, first, before we get started up, let me uh, thank my 70 subscribers. Thank you guys so much uh, for the 70 subscribers, guys. You guys don't know how much it means. Like, we were just like at 50, like a little bit ago. So like, like it just means so much, you know. I appreciate you guys so much for it. And uh, let's get right into the video. Today we have a good one here. Hope you like it. All right, guys. <laughs> this is the video. A Traxxas Emax, baby. An original Traxxas Emax. Like what? <laughs> this is the first Max, right? Like my car is the Max, but this is where, like, it was inspired from. And I'm sorry, guys, that like. <laughs> I haven't taken it apart. I just put it like that for the thumbnail, but I couldn't resist myself. I needed to clean it. Like this is this is a project right here. You guys are about it. See, so yeah, I'm gonna open it. But first, let me give a backstory on how I got it and everything. I have a friend here. His name's Nelson, and uh, Nelson, um, sadly, he's one of my good friends. We go bashing all the time. You guys probably seen him in one of my videos. He's the one with the with the the white Max that he has. Um, He's moving now, uh, sadly. I'm gonna miss him a lot, you know? We always go out and bash together and, uh, well, basically, uh, this, uh, well, used to be his car. And he's he's selling his RCs, he's moving, he's selling, he's getting rid of his RCs. And, and I'm like, you know, like, I, I, wanna, I wanna have something to remember you by, right? So he was selling his uh, Emacs here and he gave me a good deal i had to get it and uh it's a project we're gonna make it we're not gonna just make it like it, this thing is more gonna be like a shelf queen because i already have like the max and i don't want to break this like i mean it takes the beating but i don't want to you know it's more gonna be as a, a trophy you know these cars are pretty rare like <laughs> you could get a lot of money for these. I'm not gonna sell it. I want to keep it as a reminder of a good friend that I have and will have. Just that I'm not gonna get to go badge with him anymore. It's gonna be a project that we're gonna have in a channel uh, today. Hopefully, the weather's a little bad. If it starts raining and I cut the video short, I'm sorry, guys. The weather's horrible. <laughs> we're on the, we're on those uh, what, what they call them Man monsoon season. So yeah, storm and stuff. So yeah. Um, but we're gonna today we are gonna wash it we're gonna wash it and give it a good wash cuz if you guys see right here I'm gonna open it for you guys <laughs> I'm sorry I took it apart right here, I promise these are all the parts that came with it, it has a uh, 3s 4s uh, capable ESC here very good the servos original like everything is original except the esc and the mortar you know originally it comes with two you can put one here you can put one here but it just has a powerful <laughs> you don't need to put two of these powerful ones just one for now i went in and uh, took everything apart because i'm gonna wash it and make it i'm gonna restore it and make it look brand new who <laughs> at least or at least we'll try um so yeah like this is what it looks like all got it up let's take the wheels apart here i gave these uh, i try to clean these those are there and yeah this is this is how i be looking right now disgusting i know nelson i know you're watching the video come on buddy come on this is a masterpiece <laughs> it's a collectible man it needs to be cleaned and uh right now it's just looking disgusting but we are gonna fix that by the end of this video it's gonna look nice so i'm gonna get to washing so i'm gonna give you guys a little time lapse here so let's do it by the way before we start the video <laughs> i will make a video um showing you guys uh a really good uh little air it's not an air compressor but it's a very as close as you're gonna get to an air compressor um without owning an air compressor this thing's a pretty good cleaning device here and i will try to link it down in the video so you guys know where to buy it before we start the video let me explain to you guys uh 
I know a lot of people are going to be triggered when it comes to washing your RCs. There should be no problem. I took everything apart that needed to be taken apart. Um, and uh, no water is going to get in the diff or anything because I'm going to, after I wash it really quick, I'm going to hit it with the air um, blower here. And uh, yeah, I know a lot of people will be triggered about that, but they could suck it. Because if you do it right, it's not a problem. You shouldn't do it if you don't have something to blow air and clean it right away. That's that's for sure. Like if you don't have that, then don't do it. Don't try to. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna soak all the water with uh, a rack or something. No, you gotta have like a little air blower, air compressor, to uh, clean the car afterwards when you wash it. So, uh, a little time lapse here. Uh, first, we're gonna blow air on it, clean everything else, and then we're gonna wash, and then we're gonna blow air again. So let's get right into it. Now we're gonna get to the washing here. I'm just gonna use my hose, some Dawn soap, and some clean spray. So let's get right into it. guys it is done after four hours later <laughs> literally it's done and it's looking beautifully fresh i'm gonna put some pictures up here how it looked like the before and after Like, geez, look at that cable management. Zip ties everywhere. Like, you ain't seen going anywhere now. Like, everything is looking beautiful and clean. How it was before. So, yeah, this is my my new project. We got to... We got to just uh, do a few things. We need a, a 3S battery because um, I have 4S and this, this is going to be too much speed for this one. I need a connector. Um, I need um, a steering servo because these steering servos didn't have the feature where the wheels went back to straight after you turn. So I got to get a new steering servo. I don't need this servo, but maybe in the future, this servo just changes the, the speed to torque as a torque mode and a high speed mode and it changes between them um i also need the um i need tiny screws for the hatch right here and i need tiny screws for this thing and uh look that's where the power the little switches turn right on and off uh but it's looking hella clean guys hella clean compared to how it was look at that Beautiful. Look at that beauty. Look at that thing, man. Thing is beautiful. 
You guys want to see it compared to my Max? My Max is a little dirty right now, <laughs> but. There it is. New Max, old Max. Right there. Emax, just the Max. Let's call that one. But there it is compared. There it is. All right, so this is uh, the brand new project here, guys. So in the few coming up videos, I'm gonna get it set up so I could show you guys how this thing rides. So yeah, remember, like and subscribe. Bunch of people don't like and subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, like. If you didn't, dislike. <laughs> but please like and subscribe, guys. And this has been your boy, Murder Level TR. Peace.